the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy New Week to you all. We offer this Mass for all the intentions already mentioned. We remember to pray for our friends and all who have requested our prayers for them. May God in His goodness and mercy meet all of us at the point of our needs. We commit and consecrate all our activities of this new week into the hand of God. We pray for His protection. We pray for His inspiration. We pray for His guidance. We pray for the grace to live in His light, to walk according to the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ, that our life may be light in the midst of the darkness of our world. We pray that God will bless us and prosper the work of our hands, that we may not lack, that we may not be in want, that even though we walk to the valley of the shadow of death, that God will provide for us and our cup would run over. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O oh Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And God said, 
Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds, and fruits, trees bearing fruits in which is their seed, each according to its kind upon the earth, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruits in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning. A third day, and God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven, to separate the day from the night. And let there be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years. And let there be light in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God sent them in the firmament of the heavens, to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening. And there was morning in God's day. The word of the Lord. May the Lord rejoice in his words. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, how great you are. Prove the majesty and honor. Wrap the light as with a robe. You set the earth on its foundation, immovable from edge to edge. You wrapped it to the depths like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. Then the beds of heaven build an earth. From the branches they sing that song. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Our first reading this morning takes us to the beginnings of the world. A theological presentation of the history of creation. Precisely the first four days of life on earth. We are told that at every every work that God did, he found delight in it. He considered it good. In the first day, God created the lights. And when he saw the light, he said it was good. It was good. And God separated the light from light. So the greater light he called the day, and the lesser light he called the night. That was the first thing that God created. And for God, and God considered it very good. On the second day, God separated the firmament above from the firmament below. God separated the heavens from the earth. So the, the waters above and the waters below. And then the firmament above, he called heaven. That below, he called the earth. So it was on the second day of creation that this world was created. And take note, after it was done, God considered it very good. God saw it was good. On the third day, God created dry land. And he also asked the land to bring forth vegetation. Uh, plants yielding seed and fruit trees bearing fruits which is in their which is their seed and God saw that it was good. On the fourth day God created the moon and the sun the two great lights the greater light to rule the day the lesser light to rule the night and again God saw that it was good. But when we come to our gospel passage, we see a different picture altogether. The goodness at creation is now in contrast with a world of sickness. A world full of people who are possessed. A world full of people who are suffering, who are in pain. We are told that the people ran from different neighborhoods bringing their sick on pallets to Jesus. Anywhere Jesus went, in villages, in cities or countries, they brought in their sick people in large numbers and they laid them on the ground and they begged Jesus for the opportunity just pass over these people so that they can be well. Let us just touch the fringe of your garment so that we can be good again. What happened? Between Genesis and the Gospel of Mark what happened when God created? It was a good universe. God, God did not make us to come to this world to suffer. That was not his intention. It was not his intention that we should ever fall sick. But we know what happened in between. We know the choice that we made. When God created us, God made us free. Because he wanted us to love him from the freedom of our heart. However, we choose not to love him. We choose to go the other way. 
When sin entered the world, death entered the world, sickness entered the world, sorrow entered the world, pain entered the world. If God looks upon this world, because God looks upon this world and will shake his head, he will say, no, this was not what I intended. And you see that Jesus Christ came with the mind to restore. By healing the sick, Jesus was fulfilling his mandate in Luke chapter 4, 18 to 20. That I have come to preach good news. I have come to make all things right once again. I have come for release to the captives. I have come to open the eyes of the blind. That is, to cure those who are sick. To give freedom to those who are oppressed. Dear friends in Christ, let us do everything we can to try to touch the fringe of Jesus' garment. But above all, we remember that we do not belong to this world. We are all struggling to make the world a better place. Everybody is trying to contribute. But we must remember that no matter what we do, no matter what we do, this world can never be as good as it was originally, as it was from the beginning. Something has gone wrong. And so we do our best, but we remember that we belong somewhere else, that we belong to another world. May God bless his words in our hearts. May God heal our sicknesses and our diseases. May God grant us boldness and restoration. May God free us from pain, from sorrow. And above all, that we, by the grace of this Mass, we would touch the fringe of Jesus' garment. That we would be made well. That we would become instruments of healing in our world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
Be truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, who the Father Almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim watching together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we are playing. Holy, holy, holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the earth. Blessed is you who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the earth. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew born, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministers to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Augustine, and Cubese, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph and Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to see.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of the Lord, Saint Agatha, and out of spiritual for you, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacramentally, come and play spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that we be one in Christ. We may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Grant, O Lord, we pray that the Christian people may understand the truths they profess and love the heavenly liturgy in which they participate through Christ our Lord. Keep your family, we pray, O Lord, in your constant care so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles and by good work show dedication to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attend the events that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Purify your faithful in body and mind, O Lord, we pray, so that feeling the compunction you inspire, they may be able to avoid harmful pleasure and ever feed upon your delights through Christ our Lord. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Go forth. The mass is ended. Do have a great and happy week ahead. Remember to return your palm fronts. Next week, Wednesday, is Ash Wednesday. So check your house, those palm fronts that we used on the Palm Sunday uh, last year. Bring them to church. And so we are going to use it on Wednesday, 17th of February. Thank you.